gracefully earlier that, you know, for Charlie, he's on this train that he can't get off of, so he's sort of looking straight ahead. I think Abby's had a little bit more time to um, look outward and inward at the same time and ask questions about uh, what they're doing and where they are and why they're here. Um, it, it's certainly a roller coaster, as you might expect in season two. Yeah, and I think we're still a couple of se seasons away from actually being able to properly heal from the experiences that these characters go through. I think they're too busy making this thing. They have a deadline that needs to be satisfied. And uh, I, I think only after this thing drops on Japan, only years after that will we actually get to see if any of the characters can overcome their actions during this time. I, if, I actually think that this show is different from a lot of other shows in that sexuality isn't the only way that women find power. Um, I do think it's refreshing that it's something that is explored on this show because it is true to what happened here, you know, in, in sort of comical ways that, um, but it's not just the women, it's the men and the women um, engaged in quite a lot of sexual yeah. activities because... I, mean, I can't even think of a moment where sexuality was used in... Helen in, used in power, but, but I think like, like the way we, tr women are treated most of the time in this period is that it's the men that actually treat them a certain way that actually puts them in a box. Well, I think Helen yeah. uses hers a little bit, certainly, um, and Abby has used right. that with okay. you at the beginning of season, uh, season one. one, two, right. um, yeah, but, but also, uh, the, yeah, th there's just, there's an undertone, there's something about the sexuality of life on the hill that was different during this time because, um, because nobody was talking and, uh, this, I think the numbers are something like this hill was built to hold 500 people and ended up housing 5,000, a lot of which was to do with the fact that there were a lot of babies born at Los Alamos. Yeah. Um, there's something about a disconnect between people that can sometimes lead to a physical connection that doesn't have to be an emotional one. I think it's interesting. I think uh, we see a very, we begin to see a very different Charlie in season two where he actually strengthens and hardens around the idea that this is the right thing to do. Um, uh, things like morality or even paranoia slip from his mind somewhat um, while he just pursues righteousness in his mind to the very end. Um, uh, yeah, and, uh, and I think that's the... the it, uh, it might be... It'll be interesting to see how he reacts to how people view that uh, that disconnect from his morality and who he was. In some ways, although we have a terrific fan base, very devoted, we're still at our nascent stages, and, 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 and we want to enjoy that childhood as long as we get to grow into very old people. Mm -hmm.